Hello everyone, welcome to a video on how to make a Minecraft server and download the right stuff to um, open it without any annoying pop-ups or anything. So the first thing you do is go to minecraft.net, which I'm sure everyone knows, I'll put a link in the description. And then you go to downloads, you just saw me do, scroll down and get this, minecraftserver.exe. When you get that, it'll you have to be in Mozilla, Internet Explorer doesn't work. Um, hopefully, yep, save it. Um, it'll go straight to your downloads. It's doing it now. It'll take, let's see how long remaining, 20 seconds remaining. Uh, and then while it's doing that, Google Hamachi uh, and click on Log Me In, download Log Me In Hamachi with a little 2 next to the Hamachi. So click on that and it'll take you to this page. Uh, and all you need to do when it works, it's taking a long time, is download the unmanaged version. I've already done it, so I don't, I'm not going to do it now. Um, but it'll go straight to your downloads just like everything else. And you just press download now after ticking that box. Um, I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Um, but now we've got that um, server. So we'll go to downloads. should be in here. Yeah, there it is. Right. So you should really because when you click it it opens a whole lot of stuff. So you need to open you need to make a little file called Minecraft server here and drag it into there. And then double click on it and it should run and open this. Again you have to have downloaded it with Mozilla or for some reason this doesn't work. I don't know about Chrome but Internet Explorer doesn't work. Uh, so once you've run it this comes up close it as soon as you've started it oh yeah there we go right and it makes all of this all of these documents then you go back to the minecraft net page and download minecraft server dot jar instead of dot um, execute so you click that wait for it to download it should be a bit quicker than the other one um, yeah a few seconds remaining so that will only take a few seconds so just wait for that to finish uh, and that will pop up in your downloads as well um, taking a while, it's annoying. Yeah, there we go. Um, so just wait for that to finish, and then when it has, in a second, oh, how long does it take? Right, download complete, there we go. Um, oh, it's been really slow, it's weird. Yeah, there you go, download complete. You go to downloads or your Minecraft folder, go back to downloads, and it'll be in there. Just move it again into the Minecraft server folder. And then you can delete the original one because that is the alpha version and you want the better version, I'm assuming. Um, so this is better Minecraft. Uh, and then to set it up, you just click it. Uh, and by opening it, you open up the server. But you need... Okay, and then also there's the server properties, I'll teach you there in a minute, but first I need to show you how to use Log Me In Hamachi, which is what the thing you've just downloaded. All you do is you run it and it'll set up loads of stuff, maybe put that in your Minecraft folder, and when you press this to turn it on, it probes, it creates you an IP address, which isn't your actual IP address, which you can use for playing the games and stuff. Um, for some reason it's taking quite a while. I think the recorder's slowing my computer down. Okay, so while that's working, I'll show you the server properties. These are really simple. Um, it's only if you're making a server. You put your IP that you that gives you on Hamachi in there, so 5169219975169219197. Uh, and then you do whatever you want. So if you want monsters, uh, true if you're hardcore, you want to play with that. Uh, spawn animals, online mode, hell world. I usually play with that on true because it's quite fun to go to the hell world. Um, and then you can do PvP, which is player versus player, uh, which is quite fun if you want to fight each other, but it can be quite annoying as well. Uh, and whitelist, which I don't really get. Also, max players, so you can put it to 199 if you want. That's just how you do it. Uh, and you save that and then close it. So, yeah, this is done. Uh, and all you have to do if you want to join a network uh, is you go to 
would join an existing network. You type in the name they put, so it would be here Minecraft Lover Surfer, and then password. Um, if they've made a password for it, they'll tell you, I guess. Uh, and then you join that server. So if I turn this on, then uh, and, and if my brother connects, which is not going to, it means that if he types in this IP address to get Minecraft going, um, yep. Okay, so when that's done, go multiplayer, and as you can see, the IP is already in there. Uh, and you can just connect, press connect and you connect to it but the person that made it has to have this server.jar open because what that does is it prepares everything, spawning area and everything like that and without that open you can't play on the server so you have to make sure you do that as the maker and also it's pretty easy but to make a new network you just go network id um, oggy gamer password flabagoo um, and then you create that and it'll create it here and as I showed you before to join it all they have to do it would be to type in in the network ID oggy gamer and then password flabagoo um, and they'd be in it and then they just type in your IP address which you can send them on Skype or MSN or Facebook or something and connect and they're on your game uh, and that's basically the easiest way to make a Minecraft server and to join a Minecraft server thank you for watching I was Oscar from Oggy Gamer. Goodbye.